Crisis, an emergency, and a disaster are sometimes terms used interchangeably. But a crisis is the umbrella term that an emergency and a disaster fall within. An emergency, by definition, is an urgent action. And a disaster, by definition, is a calamitous event. But a crisis, while including both of those possibilities, is also about risk and opportunity. The definition of a crisis in a dictionary is it's a turning point, a crucial time. A crisis can not only be mitigated in many respects, but a crisis can be averted. A crisis really has three fundamental phases. One is before. That is the science of a crisis, the preparation, the planning, knowing what your risks are and preparing for those risks. The during the crisis phase is the art of the execution, of executing your plan. And the recovery or after phase of the crisis is perhaps one of the most important elements when it comes to ensuring resiliency and strength after the crisis. Collaboration prior to a crisis is absolutely a critical element in crisis planning. Ensuring trust among the stakeholders, the community, and all those that could be impacted by a crisis has to be established in the preparation phase. If you're exchanging business cards or meeting someone for the first time in a crisis, it's extraordinarily difficult to build the trust that is needed. Collaboration during the crisis is much like individual players in an orchestra during a symphony. Each player, each person, each community and organization has a role to play, and the timing of that role is equally important to the role itself. Collaboration during a crisis is an art form. The stronger the bonds that are built between the players, prior to the crisis makes collaboration during the crisis much easier. A risk assessment is an important tool to utilize during crisis preparation and planning that will help organizations and people identify not only the weaknesses within organizations and stakeholders but as importantly, and perhaps more importantly, the strengths that communities, individuals, and stakeholders can bring, both prior to a crisis, and as importantly, during the recovery of a crisis. The recovery after a crisis has to include all stakeholders. It doesn't matter who you are, where you live, what your life circumstances are, a crisis is the great equalizer.